You are at the Gospel of Luke chapter 24, and today, verses 20 to 24. Jesus is walking on the road. The sad disciples are walking away from Jerusalem. They're very sad. Jesus has come up and joined himself to their party, and now they're beginning to have a conversation. So verses 20 to 24. And he said to them, What things? So they said to him, The things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty indeed, and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we were hoping that it was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, today is the third day since these things happened. Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb early astonished us, when they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. And certain of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. So we picked up where we left off in verse 19 yesterday, and this is the rest of that section. So yeah, they tell him, they tell him, look, you know, uh, Jesus' body is missing. That's what the story is. We're hearing this, we're hearing that. People that were part of our group, they, they found that Jesus was missing. And we had trusted in him. We thought he was going to be the Messiah, but obviously he wasn't because he was crucified. And they're just filled with sadness and confusion, and they don't understand how things have come to this spot. I don't want to get ahead of us this into Jesus' response tomorrow morning, but I do believe there's a, a something here for us. You know, they're hearing these things, but they're very sad. But they didn't have to be sad. They could have actually chose to believe that something good was coming from this. And Jesus will rebuke them for that when we look at this tomorrow morning as we carry on. But here are these sad people. They're walking around. They're in a daze. They're sad. But, but the report that the tomb was empty, that, that could have given them some hope. It should have given them some hope. And when we feel sad, you and I, what we want to do, you know, we want to go back and remember that all we serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. Jesus is for us. He's alive today. We serve a king who's alive. He's not sleeping on the other side of the universe or he forgot about us. He's alive and he's intimately interested in your heart and your life and your struggles and your triumphs. He's on your side and we can plead with him. Help us come closer and closer. Let's do that. Dear Father in heaven, help us come closer and closer to Jesus. Help us, Lord, to, in spite of the busy, fast world that we are in, that we, we think is so important, help us to always put the spiritual first. Help us to begin each day praying to you, reading from your word. Help us to end each day thinking, conversing with you mentally, praying back and forth to you. Lord, please be with us across the day as we send up little prayers along the way and as we we seek to have your spirit in our midst all day long. Bless us, Lord, and help us to be more like Jesus. So now, Lord, you've heard our prayer, and we look for your blessings as this day continues on, and we get to serve Jesus all day long. Now, Lord, bless, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.